Good morning! Welcome back to my channel. My name's Randy. Welcome to my life. I feel so weird because I haven't picked up the camera in such a long time. Like, insanely long time. I have been in a rut and I don't know what to film. So I just haven't filmed. I haven't done anything. But I need to put on my big girl pants, get it together, and think of something because I don't want you guys to miss me. Come on. Right now, I just picked up Oscar and we're at my favorite place in the world, Duncan. And I have currently convinced him to go to Ikea with me, which he hates. Number one task, shout out to my man for pumping my gas. I literally hate pumping gas more than anything. So whenever we go out, like either he'll drive his brother's car or my car. So I take advantage. I'm like, no, 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 we'll drive my car so we can go pump gas. Because since it's Sunday, I want to have like full gas tank for the week. And something about pumping gas on a Monday morning is just not it. But my lips are looking so crazy. My favorite at the moment, literally everywhere I go, mm, love her. I'm starving and this coffee brought me back to life. Ugh, thank you for my gas. Love you. Thank you for your service. You're welcome. We just left Applebee's. We're in like food coma crazy. And my man's had a margarita mezcal. He's gonna act up in Home Depot. We're going to Home Depot because I had a brilliant idea to transform my closet. But I'm gonna take advantage and also paint my walls because I, if you haven't noticed. <sighs> Sorry, you might wanna cut that out. That was a little gross. If you haven't noticed, my walls are pink and I no longer want them pink. So we're gonna go to Home Depot right now to get paint swatches, paint samples, paint something so I can see what color white I want my room. And Oscar's gonna go and help me because he has no other choice. Me and Oscar have unlocked a new chapter of love. Go to Home Depot together. He thinks I'm insane. I know I'm not insane. I'm insane? I'm a, you're like 100% accurate with that statement. That I am not insane. But you are. <gasps> I'm not insane. We've unlocked a new chapter. Only people in love that are adults go to Home Depot together. Right? Well, He's being a hater, but it's fine. He was mad at me because I didn't park where I had parked originally, but it's because I couldn't park there. So, how's that my fault? Not my fault. Debating on which way to get. I got the paint swatches and I'm gonna test it in my room. Cause if you can tell, the middle one here is lighter than the rest. Look who I convinced to come to Ikea with me. This is the bookcase I'm gonna get. This one to be exact. <gasps> Hopefully it's just a black one. Did you bring yourself? Yes, let's go. <laughs> He's insane. This is so cute. We were literally about to take the black one because it didn't have any over there. And Oscar looked up and he's like, why don't we just take the one that's already built? But there's six more in white. Thank God for Oscar. I can't think of anywhere. Are you having fun? Yeah. We got my muebles and we lost the car. We thought we were over here. But ah. over here. Because look, we can move all these things. These is my in case I get stranded kit. Ugh! Sorry, it's Velcro on the bottom. And then put this here and then just lay flat that way. Do you want me to help you with my muscles? No. Okay, I'll just hold the cart then. No. Uh, okay. I have a way I don't know what to do. Okay. Push it closer. Wait, no, 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 no. Look, no, no. I'm helping. I'm gonna use the leverage just to push it up. Like that. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, this bitch is too big. Oh no. I thought we were only gonna have to close one way, but it's gonna have to be two. I bought this bookcase from Ikea and I'm gonna have my dad build it for me because Ikea stresses me out with all their pieces. I know normally people do like Sunday resets, but as you can see from behind, my room is a mess. Taking advantage of the fact that my sister is literally across the United States in California on vacation with her boyfriend's family. So, of course, I've been left alone. And when I get left alone, 
you know what they say like idle hands are the devil's playground so I decided to clean my room and it did not turn as planned I built a bookshelf that I'm using as my closet now which we need to organize together because I kind of got started but you know I don't know how people do it like I'm over here like trying to influence the world or whatever you know share my life with you but I don't know how people do it like how do you have the patience to build record and make sure you make it aesthetic because building this bookcase was not aesthetic was stressful and I didn't even remember to fully record and my dad was helping me so my dad knows like I record my life but this man does not know I put it on the internet <laughs> so he looked at my camera and was like estás grabando and I'm like yeah it's se me olvida como lo hice you know but no one tell him no one tell him anything that he might be on the internet in previous videos he has been on the internet but he has no idea okay he has no idea and we're gonna keep it that way my problem is i do all these little tasks and i'm like i need to do this this and that and i start but i never finish anything so that's why my room gets a big mess i built my bookshelf i took everything out of my closet to put on my bookshelf and i haven't finished i have everything on my bed which i'm taking advantage that she's not here so i'm taking her side of the bed sorry sis and i put all my clean clothes on there like nicely folded so i can put it over here but if you see over here this little mess i have to clean up the way my brain works is so i don't have to work double i can declutter and organize at the same time but i just fail i feel very bad because i get so focused on decluttering i forget to organize so when i want to go to organize i'm so stressed about the declutter that i cluttered in the room so it just doesn't work out so the goal for today is clean my room i want you to see and be like wow randy you really did that a plus good job for you i want karen to come inside karen is my sister if you didn't know if you didn't know girl obviously you're not subscribed so go ahead and subscribe and meet my whole family duh i want karen to walk into this room and feel bad that her side is a mess because mine is gonna be so clean so spectacular so well organized she's gonna be like wow why didn't you do my sign be like mm, didn't have the time you were only gone one week i don't have any plans until 6 p.m and i need to pick up my mom at four and it is currently 1 11. so we have three hours it's not gonna be easy and it's probably not gonna be super aesthetic because i don't know how to do that yet like i'm i'm working on the angles girl i promise it gives me like flashbacks to when my mom Hey mom. My mom watches all my videos even if she doesn't understand them. It's so fun. But it reminds me of growing up because my mom would always wake us up Saturday mornings to clean. She's like, levantense huevonas a limpiar. And I'm like, oh, no. But yeah, now it's me. Now I'm an adult. So now I have no other choice but to tell myself to clean. Although she does tell me to clean, but it's not as effective now as it was before, you know. First order of business, no one can clean without some musiquita. I've been an Apple Music girl for a minute, but I hopped back on to the Spotify because they like do like the recommend for you mixes and it's like they know what I want to listen to. So I love that for me. I've been listening to my reggaeton mix. So um, they're gonna help us clean today. So this is my bookshelf. I've gone ahead and put like some of my oversized t-shirts here. The top one so far is empty. This is a a six kind of vibe, like six cubicles, if that's what you call it. So I put my t-shirts. I'm not sure what will go here, but we will figure that out together. This one is empty. I have my jeans set up nicely here. I have my leggings. I have like biker shorts, other leggings like dress pants kind of vibes i have way more jeans my job requires like only jeans so i'm a jeans girly for sure that's why i have a little bit tiny of like leggings when i like work out comfy vibes those kind of things so this is how my bookshelf is looking so we have a lot to work and if you come over here look at my mess so cuteness psych anyway so up there there is a mess and that's a kind of like 
my summer shorts, some little bags, a whole mess. And then I have my closet here. My closet is looking atrocious. You have no color scheme, no rhythm, no nothing. Then down here, I went ahead and I emptied all this because I had my jeans in there. But I had way too many jeans. So I had to take them out. So, so far I have like hoodies and like sweaters. Like those kind of things. And I'm just going to fill that up here. And then here I have two box. Well, they're not here. I have two boxes that contains my pajama tops and my pajama bottoms with my sweatpants. And then over here I have like my scarves which i don't really wear that's the situation we're working with i think i'm gonna go ahead and take off all my purses from here and see how i can put them here my problem with the bags there is whenever i try to close a closet it's like bulky so i'm debating if i can like probably maybe okay i don't know how this works so i'm thinking camera stuff here bags over here t-shirts i don't know about the middle section yet like i don't know about here what to put i know jeans and then anything pending down it doesn't matter i put whatever i don't really new use very often all the way in the bottom because if i'm gonna use it all the time why i gotta be bending all the way down i don't get it but now my confliction is is it gonna look too messy what do you think because i'm thinking it'll look kind of cute like a little display but one, I don't have that many bags, so it's probably going to just look like two big bags because I like to put my little bags inside my big bags to save space. I think I might have to do it, so maybe I could switch out my bags more often, but I just don't want it to look too cluttered. Like, my point is that I don't want it to look too messy, you know? Ugh, I can't. I wish you could answer me in real time. By the time that I post this, I would already figure this out. And I'm not an interior designer, so I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm looking for... Simple functionality. That's what I'm getting for. But I'm going to go ahead and fix this and see what I actually use of these. Because this was for my friend's wedding when I was a bridesmaid. And I don't know if I'll ever use this color again. But then again, what if I need a shawl one day? This is why I can't get rid of anything. Literally anything. Because now look. I can close the closet. No problem. Before I had to go success first step done i went to go get windex and paper towels because i found this little bin and i have a lot of like wallets and like little tiny purses i feel like it looks so cute organized here i have another bin i love collecting bins by the way they're my favorite thing to get at target <laughs> anyway i have this bin that i can put here with like my camera stuff and there's still space for like my bigger bags here because i only have like two like big bags like take up a lot of space so i can put it here well obviously maybe like more more like a this way and then the bags would go here i think that would look cute okay so this is how they're looking they fit all a little messy, but they all fit, so it's perfect. So my big Kate Spade does not fit. It probably fits sideways, but it's like too big. So I think I'm gonna put it on the top because I don't use this one very much. This was like my first like adult bag. Do you get me? Like it's giving like licenciada, it's giving like professional, but I don't use it very much because I'm not in school right now, so that's not it. So I just put the big bag up there. Okay, so I put two purses inside this purse. I even managed to fit my regular daily purse and I just put one on top of there and I still have the space for all my camera stuff. So ah! Are you okay? You almost fell. I went ahead and I put away my pajama tops my pajama bottoms so i have this empty i have a couple sweaters i need to put in here and i think i'm gonna put all my scarves here like nicely folded because they're over here but they're a mess over here so i think over here they would look nice and cute since i have this empty anyway and i don't need it for anything 
okay they're like a little messy but it doesn't matter but this is all my scarves and my like shawls and stuff and i put my other sweaters in here more sweaters and even more sweaters so this bottom part of the closet is done congratulations to me okay now my next task is to take out all the short sleeves that i have in here because my closet's a little congested and i still need to put these jackets and sweaters inside so i think the best bet is probably to take off of the short sleeves and then i'll fold them here and i'll just have like t-shirts here but I'm thinking about putting the t-shirts down here because it's like t-shirts and jeans. And then here I could put like extras of whatever I have, but like nicely organized. I think that's going to work the best. These are the t-shirts I have in there. Wow. I don't really wear a lot of color, huh? Black, gray, white, and neutrals. I gotta spice up my colors. I don't know how to fold them. Help. I'm not having a good time. What if I take my vests? They'll take up more space. But I only have a little bit. Better plan. I'm a vesty girl, so. Oh, I only have three vests. Well, four vests. What if I take my jacket though outside here? Because I don't use them as often. Because. In my head, I'm thinking like the more logistic way that I can think about it. If I use my t-shirts every day, I'm going to make a mess out of them. But if I take out like these jackets that I only use like occasionally, like I don't wear the same jacket every single day and I'm not going to go look for these jackets. I could wear sweaters, you know, like different. So what if I fold these and put them over here? Because I have a bunch of these. Like you'll see, like I love this is my favorite kind of style. Like the little ribs and like the material. Love it. I think I'm going to do that. And then I'll leave the t-shirts inside because t-shirts are more messy. And they come in different sizes. Like for instance, this one's like a fitted one. But then I have like oversized ones. So they're not going to fold the same. Do you see this? They're like the same, but like in different colors. I love them. But I feel like these would be a better idea to fold because they're kind of the same length and the same size. So it'll work out, right? Like it should, it should. Yeah, it definitely should. And then I'll put the t-shirts back inside because they're not going to fold the correct way. Eventually I'm going to have to do a spring closet cleaning video because... I have a lot of clothes that maybe I don't really like lean towards, but I don't have the time to do that today. So let me know down in the comments below if you want me to do that video. Well, like I'm going to do it regardless, but if you want me to film it, you know, let me know. Just so I can reach them and get like a good use out of them this, this winter because I got them by this winter season. Do you guys do that? Like buy like your winter jacket and then you wear it like every single day because it's like your favorite jacket and you need to get winter's worth out of it. Does that happen to you? Because that, that happens to me. And then, like, I get rid of the other jacket. So then my mom says I look like a retrato because I'm wearing the same jacket. But it's just a jacket. Like, I literally only wear the jacket to, to transport myself. Like, I wear the jacket from my house to the car. I take it off in the car because I can't drive with a jacket. It's so annoying. And then from the car to my job. And then I take off the jacket. So it's, like, it's just a transportation coat. Ta-da! Is this a sign that I should get more oversized t-shirts? My mom doesn't like them. She says that it makes me look like, like I have no shape, but I feel really comfortable in them. So, gotta pick my battles, girl. I gotta organize that section now. But closet-wise, we're good. I'm not gonna organize it color coded because I will do that when I declutter because it makes no sense to organize it if I'm just gonna make it a mess again. I took a little break because I had to go pick up my mom but we're back and I don't have a lot of energy anymore I think the caffeine went down but I still need to finish I have 30 minutes before I have to go pick up Oscar being an uber is like really hard and then I have to come back finish cleaning get ready and then that's all I can do for today because I have plans 
So worst case. Estoy hablando con mi cámara. Mom. This is why I don't like filming when people are here. She walks and she's like, who are you talking to? I'm like, you guys. I'm like, hey mom. Hey girl. Anyway. Not a sense that I was rudely interrupted. I don't even know what I was saying. I'm just gonna clean because at this point, I need to get it together. Let me take off this jacket so I don't overheat. Thank you.